Shalom. Kah Halal, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. They were honest to the elders and apostles of great millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom, to the Akim and to the Akwath, that will be you brothers and sisters, Adawan Ratazah, that is to say Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp, back again with another lesson, to the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson is going to be entitled, We're at the end of this thing, keep the faith. Okay? Once again, the title of this lesson is, We're at the end of this thing, keep the faith. Okay? And, um, Clearly, you can see we are at the end of this thing because um, um, the prophecies, okay, the scriptures say that measure the time diligently within itself. And when thou see part of the signs uh, past that I have told thee, okay, um, second is the, the ninth chapter, beginning at the verse first, the first verse, it goes into how you're supposed to measure the time, okay. And um, as a matter of fact, let me get that. This is the this is how you measure where you are in prophecy. This is how we know that we're in end times. Okay. Uh, so this lesson is an organic an organic lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yashai. Okay, the Lord just the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yashai for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. The Lord just gave me the title, and um, to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yashai, we're gonna get some precepts and law with him. At the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. Okay. Um, second Ezra. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So we in that time where the Lord is visiting the world in many different ways, man. Okay? We're at the end of we are at the end of this thing. Okay? Keep the faith. Alright, so no matter what, if you have that precious number of the elect, you're gonna your your faith faith is gonna be required. You're gonna have to you're gonna you have, you're gonna have to keep the faith, man. You see? But I'm going to read a little bit more. It says, um, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. See? This is how we know we are at the end of this thing because of the signs that the Lord left. You know? It says, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Right? See? We are at the end of this thing. We are at the end of this thing, man. Keep the faith. All right? So, no matter what, keep the faith, man. No matter what, what's, what, what, what's in front of you, what's placed in front of you, the Lord said he, he, would, he would give you more than you can bear. You have to know that, man. You know, that's why the scripture says, blesses he that readeth. You see? And, and, keep, and keep those things which are written therein, meaning the prophecies, man. You know? I'm going to read the 6th verse, 2nd Ezra chapter, chapter 9, verse 6. It says, Even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. And endings in effects and signs. And this is how we know we're at the end of this thing, man. We're seeing the effects. We're seeing the signs. Okay? And, and through all of this, you're going to have to keep the faith because that faith is required. Okay? That faith is required of you, man. Okay, the Lord said, uh, let's go to it. Um, when he returned on the earth, shall he find faith? Right, it's in the book of um, uh, Luke, I want to 
I said, Luke, I think it's the 18th chapter. Right about, uh, yeah, Luke chapter, um, Luke chapter 18, I start at verse 7, it says, And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him? Right, the scripture speaks about the men that sign and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay, uh, Ezekiel, the ninth chapter. All right, the scripture speaks about putting a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry. That mark is, um, that mark is told that Thawah, which is a mark of, uh, 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 of, of um, a mark of exemption from judgment. Okay, meaning those men who have that mark, the Thawah, they're going to be delivered, man. Why? Because they were sighing and crying for all the abominations that had been done in the midst thereof. They, 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 they choose to side with the Lord, man. They didn't, they didn't stay, uh, uh, neutral or, or didn't pick a side they chose a side okay which was to sigh and cry man for all the abominations that be done in the mid thereof therefore all right they, there was there was there was given the mark of uh, of exemption man the thawah all right in the hebrew verse seven again and shall not the most high avenge his own elect all right eclectos the elect cream of the crop of the nation of Israel, those who have turned back to the Lord and repented. It says, which cried day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. And this is the point, verse 8, because the faith is required. It says, I tell you, and this is red letter, this is our Lord, how shall I speak it? It says, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. You see? Shall he find faith on the earth? And that's it. And it ends with a question mark. It says, nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? So, and it says question mark, showing you that faith is going to be required. You're going to have to have that faith. You're going to have to exercise that faith um, all the way to the end, man. You see? Because a uh, scripture that comes to mind is right here. In the book of um, Hebrews, Hebrews the six, the eleventh chapter, and the sixth verse. Okay. Um, as a matter of fact, I start at verse five. It says, "By faith, Enoch, our forefather Enoch." It says, "By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found because the Most High had translated him." For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased the Most High, the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh. All right, and we 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 come in the, in, in, the, in the like mind, man. We want to please the Lord, okay? And that and 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 that, that that comes by having faith, and that faith is a gift. All right, verse six it says, "But without faith, it is impossible to please Him." So that means you have to have faith. You have to believe, okay? It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So, knowing that we are at the end of this thing, you're going to have to keep the faith, man. You're going to have to keep the faith, because faith is required. You see? It's required. It's commanded of you to keep the faith all the way to the end. You see? So, yeah. Brothers, brothers and few sisters that listen to these videos, we are at the end of this thing. All right, keep the faith, keep going, keep pushing, keep fighting. You have every reason to fight, man, because at the end of the day, uh, speaking to myself first and foremost, salvation is my top priority, man. You know, and that comes by, as the scriptures say, uh, what's that? Let's get in the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter six. You have to place the you have to place the Lord above all. Okay, Matthew chapter six and verse thirty three. It says, But seek ye first the kingdom of the most high and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Alright? You have to put the Lord first above all, man. You know, you know, that's 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 the way to go. You know? You got we gotta put we gotta put the Lord first above all. Then all these things will be added on to you, man. 
The scriptures say also uh, when you go to um, the book of uh, Proverbs, Proverbs the third chapter and the fifth verse, it says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, meaning all your mind. The Hebrew word for heart is lab, which means your mind. And lean not unto your own lean not unto thy own understanding. <clears throat> so you got trust in the Lord. Right? It says verse six, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. So you gotta leave it up to the Lord, man. The scriptures say that cast your burden upon the Lord. Whatever you're going through, cast it upon the Lord, man. You see? That's what you're supposed to do. Uh, let me see if I can grab that scripture real quick. Uh, I think it's the book of Psalms. Psalms, um, Psalms 55 it is, and 22. Psalms 55 verse 22, it says, Cast thy burden upon the Ahawah, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. See, so, so no matter what you're going through, you got to cast your burden upon the Lord. Give it to him, man. You know, take the weight off your shoulder. Give it to the Lord, man. Okay, because he's omnipotent. He's all, all, all powerful, almighty. Okay. Uh, uh, the scripture speaks about ye that, ye that are trouble, rest with us, man. Okay. Rest with us. Because there, there's, there's a body. This is the reason why we have the body of Yahweh Shai. Okay. The light-minded brothers who, 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 who salvation is their, their number one um, priority, okay, it is a body of, 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 brother, of brothers, man, the brotherhood, man, whom uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, uh, Yahweh Shai formed together through the Spirit, okay, that we can come to one another and um, uh, reason with one another and um, uh, seek advice from one another. And, and you know, scripture say iron sharpened at iron. You know, you're supposed to come to the brotherhood. You know, um, for for anything, scripture say to do nothing without advice. You know, this is how you cope. This is how you get through. Because as I was saying, the scripture say to cast your burden upon the Lord. Also, you have the brotherhood, man. You know, to lean on, to um, confide in. Okay, that's the reason why you have the brotherhood, man. That's why. That's why the Lord said to uh, to to love one another, man. The scripture say, um, uh, "What's that scripture again?" Then, um, uh, then uh, then shall men know that ye are my disciples uh, by the love by the love ye have for one, one one another. Roughly paraphrasing, then shall men know that ye are my disciples. Okay, so yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a way is the way that we treat each other in the brotherhood man and turn to each other for uh understanding comfort you know uh charity things of that nature you know but yeah at the end, at the, at the end of the day um scripture say the rest with us man all right and, and knowing that we're at the end of this thing keep the faith you know, because uh, scripture, speak of, scripture speaks about um, laboring, laboring to enter into that rest because we we all here and we <clears throat> we work in, We all we do is work, 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 <laughs> work, 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 work. And as we just come, just just nonstop working, man. You know, but scripture speaks about uh, being not uh, entangled with the, the the affairs of this life. Even though we work so much, we still have to find the time to do the work, you know. But we need the kingdom, man, because we ain't got no, our rest is not here. This is not our rest, that's the scripture I said. You know, arise ye and depart, Micah 2 and 10. Let's get that. Because this is this is not our rest. Let's get the book of Micah. Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. It says, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a saw of destruction. All right, so you know that this is not your rest. Our rest is going to come in the kingdom. Okay? Our rest is going to come in the kingdom. Now, knowing, knowing that this is not your rest, um, oh, well, I think it's the Apostle, Apostle Paul. Uh, see if I can find that right quick. And to end the uh, to rest, 
Mabel with us now to enter into the rest. If I can find it. Enter. Bear with me here. Enter. Enter. Right, Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 11, it says, let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, right? So there is a rest, right? Hebrews 4, I'll start at verse, um, verse 9, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 9. It says, um, there remaineth therefore a rest to the people of the Most High. Right? That's the elect. Right? For he that is entered into his rest, he also hath ceased from his own works, and the Most High did from his. It's like it, as the Most High did from his. Verse 11, let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, least, least, any, any, least any man fall into the same example of unbelief. Okay? Now we, we ran into how you must believe. You got to keep the faith. All right, in order to please the most, you have, you have to keep the faith, man. You see, but we're gonna have to labor. You're gonna have to toil. You're gonna have to keep your hand to the plow. In the meantime, to enter into that rest, man. You see, you're gonna have to keep pushing. You're gonna have to keep fighting. You're gonna have to keep the faith all the way to the end. And especially knowing that we're at the end of this thing, you're gonna have to keep the faith, man. You know, so. With that being said, um, I think I think the point was made. All right. Um, right now we're just looking toward the kingdom, man. We we looking for new heavens and a new earth where dwell righteousness, man. As the scriptures say, let me go to grab that real quick. Uh, the book is uh, Second Peter, chapter three. Uh, I'll start at verse 11. It says, it says, uh, you know what? I'm going to start at 9. It says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, but it's long suffering to us who are not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And that's that's the message to for you to come to repentance, man. You know, it says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? This is how you should be carrying yourself in these times. Especially now that we're in end times, we're more closer than ever before. Verse 12, it says, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. This is the point, verse 13. Nevertheless, we according to his promise. Look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Okay, that word new, when you go into it, it means it, 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 it's, it's kainos. Okay, kainos, which means refresh. So we're looking for the earth to be refreshed on the new rulership, new management, okay? Where everything is going to be better, cleaner water, cleaner air, you know, better food, better management. Everything is going to be better, much greater, okay? Verse 14, it says, Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless, <clears throat> okay? So... Yeah, man, that's it, man. We are, we are at the end of this thing. We've seen all the signs, you know. You're going to have to keep the faith, man, all the way, all the way through. You know, pray the Spirit. Pray the Lord keep the Spirit upon you to keep going. All right. Uh, the book of um, Matthew, Matthew chapter 24 and verse uh, 13 it says, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. 
So you, you're gonna have to endure. Endure means to be it means to be made hard. Okay? You're gonna have to so you're gonna have to be a soldier in this thing. Okay? You're gonna have to be a soldier, man. You're gonna have to keep the faith. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So no matter what comes your way, you're gonna have to keep fighting. And remember the Lord said he would give you more than you can bear. Okay? As a matter of fact, let's grab that scripture. Start the scripture again. Uh, uh, Corinthians. Uh, I think it's First Corinthians. Bear with me here. Very quick. First Corinthians ten and thirteen. Uh they have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But Yahweh is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but with, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. All right. So you must know that the Most High will give you more than you can bear. All right. So all you gotta do is keep keep the fight, keep fighting the good fight of faith, man. The Scripture says that, that to let not your sins weigh you down. Okay. You got to keep fighting and turn to the Lord, man. Scripture say in the book of Tobit, the 13th chapter, all right, and the 6th verse, turn to the Lord and see what he would do with you, man. Okay? Turn to the Lord um, and, and see what he would do with you. But you're going to have to keep that faith, man, all the way to the end because that faith is going to be required. It's going to be required of you, all right? So we're, we're at the end of this thing, all right? It's even more reason to... Um, to awake out of sleep, man. But now it's our salvation there than when we believed. Okay? So we have to walk a certain walk. You know, the scripture said, enter ye in at the straight gate. You see? It's going to be, uh, scripture speaks about a fire on one side and a deep water on the next. Okay? You, 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 it, it is a battle and it begins in your mind. You know? But the goal is to keep the faith until the end, to, to, to finish your course. You know? Especially now, even more knowing that we're at the end of this thing, man. So stay focused, keep your eyes single, and pray to the Lord, man. Pray to the Lord, keep the spirit on you to endure. Speaking of myself first and foremost, and like minded brothers, I pray for the brothers from the el from the elders on down, okay? Like minded brothers, okay, who uh who want the same thing that I want, man, salvation. Okay? So I'm going to end the lesson there, giving our honor and glory and praise unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me the truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives for the freedom to do so. Until the next time, Shalom. God willing, you were edified. Shalom.